Last Friday, the majority of Somali money transfer organizations in the United States, including this branch of the Habsil in Falls Church, Virginia, had to completely shut down. Well, they are so, so sad. Most of the people, when, when they find out that there's, they cannot send money to their loved ones, they're really devastated. The business normally operates like this. Somali Americans hand over some cash. The business contacts a branch in Somalia known over there as a hawala, where relatives are contacted and given the cash. Food, uh, medicine, school fees, shelter, you know, the basic needs that any human being, the basic of the basic that a human being needs to survive. But the main remaining U.S. bank willing to make the necessary international wire transfers, Merchants Bank of California, has been forced to stop doing so by U.S. government regulators who say the bank's not been complying with rules designed to identify money laundering and terrorism financing. The U.S. government has engaged in ongoing communication with the Somali community in the United States and financial institutions serving that community. We'll continue our work with the government of Somalia and remittance companies to build an effective regulatory framework for uh, remittances and to develop safeguards against abuse by money launderers and terrorist financiers. Somali Americans fear that without urgent action, the shutdown will force some of the transfers underground and empower militant groups in Somalia. If the families don't have money and they're desperate, the youth most likely will be inclined to follow extremism. Somali Americans have been lobbying U.S. lawmakers who've responded by calling upon the Obama administration to convene an emergency meeting. At its core, the administration needs to take responsibility for the consequences of what happens over the next few months. The aid agencies want a U.S. government-backed mechanism to enable these international transfers to continue. This call to action comes at a time when the sense of shock, desperation and anger is rising among those in the Somali-American community. Daniel Ranches, CCTV, Washington.